Hi there, my name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of Smart Quiz Builder, the best quiz and survey plugin for WordPress. Today, I'm excited to let you know that we have just released a brand new integration between SQB and Google Sheets. What this means is you can now directly send your quiz results, the user details, and everything related to the quiz after they complete the quiz directly to your Google Sheet without requiring an external platform such as Zapier. And I'll tell you this upfront that the integration, the initial setup, this is something you have to do once to connect your Google account uh, with uh, with Smart Quiz Builder. It is, uh, it is not very simple, all right, because Google does not make it very easy to do this integration. I'll show you step by step how you have to do this, how you can do this initial setup. But after you set this up one time, you only have to do this once. Once you connect it, after that, it's super simple. All you have to do is enter the sheet URL. Uh, in your quiz setup and SQB will directly add all the details, quiz results and everything else directly to your sheet. You can continue using Zapier or whatever else you're using right now to do this integration. But if you do not want to use an external platform and want direct integration, then you can follow these steps. All right. So now let me take you behind the scenes to show you how you can do this. All right. So step number one is to log into your members area on the Wicked Cool plugin site. Uh, same place where you download SQB from and under downloads, you will now find an additional download section. And here you can see it says SQB Google Sheet integration plugin. So download this plugin. You will need this additional plugin to be activated on your site to do this integration. All right, so download this zip file and go back to your site. So let me show you this under plugins, SQB Google Sheet integration, and I have activated this plugin. You just have to do this once. And after you activate it, go to settings and go to SQB Google Sheet, this page. And you will see this page after you activate the plugin. And here you can see there are three fields here, redirect URL. All you have to do is copy paste this. When you create the app in Google, I'll show you where you will need this, uh, but you will need this later. And client ID and secret key after you create the app in Google, uh, then you will get a client ID and secret key for the domain and you can insert it here. Again, this is something you just have to do once. And after you connect it, you can click on this to complete authentication. And this will allow SQB to connect with your Google account. And that's it. All right. This is just one time. Then you can go to SQB and same place where you integrate SQB with other external platforms such as Zapier. Same place you will find a new option to integrate directly with Google Sheets. So you just have to select that, enter the sheet URL. And those steps are super simple. All right. So once you have completed this authentication, connecting SQB with the right sheet so it can send the quiz results and add it to the sheet, that's super simple, all right? So this is one time setup that's a little bit involved, a little bit complicated. And now let me show you how to do this. So on this page, you will see it says, read the documentation. You can click on it for step-by-step -step instructions. If you click on it, it will bring you to this page. And here you will find this video that you're watching right now. And also for step-by-step -step instructions, it's right here on this page. All right, so you can see here, it says, visit this page. It will send you to the Google console where you can create a new project. So click on it and connect to your Google account. You can see here it says Google Cloud Platform and give your project any name you want. I'm gonna call it SQB Sheet Integration Project, create. All right, so after you create the project on the right side under notifications, you can see it says create project. So make sure to select that project. Otherwise see here in the drop down, it's a different project. So make sure to select the right project. So click on it. Now you can see at the top drop down, it says SQB Sheet Integration Project. So you have to make sure that you have selected the right project. All right, so that's step number one. So after you create and select the right project, next, go to API and services right here and click on library. All right, so here you need to select the right library. So select Google Sheet, enter. And you can see at the top, I in the search box, I entered Google Sheet. And when you enter, it's going to show you Google Sheets API select it and click on enable to enable this. So after you enable Google Sheets API, uh, the next step is to click on create credentials, all right? So create the project from the library, select Google Sheets API and enable it. And then at the top, you will see, it says create credentials, click on it. So here you can see it has selected Google Sheets API and then click on user data, all right? Select this one. And don't click on done yet. Make sure to click on next because we are still in step one. 
which is credential type. So make sure to continue. Click on next every step until this is fully complete, which is step number one. All right, so click on next. It'll bring you to step number two, which is app information. Give it any name you want. So SQB app. Here you can enter whatever email you want. So these are the required fields, app name and email and developer contact email. This is also a required field and save and continue. Again, do not go down and click on done yet. All right, make sure to complete all of these steps in this wizard. Uh, to complete this otherwise it will not work so make sure to click on save and continue all right so now we are in step number three which is scopes click on add remove scopes and here it will open this pop-up and here under filter enter google sheets api and it will show you all the google sheets um, api related stuff here and just select the first two this is all we need all right spreadsheets and uh, so select the first two and click on update that's it. All right. So this is done. Step three. You can see these two are selected. And again, click on save and continue. Don't click on done yet. Click on save and continue. Now step number four. Application type. Here select web application. Web client name. So here you can say SQB. Whatever name you want. I'm going to call it SQB web app. And... This step you can skip, all right? Only this one you need to enter, authorized redirect URIs. This one you need to enter. So here, click on add URI, and here the URL, you need to get this from the settings page. So this is the one that's right here under settings, under SQB Google Sheet. So copy this for your site and enter this here. That's it, all right? And then go ahead and click on create. Now this step is complete. So now you can see all the steps are complete. Now you can click on done. So now this step is done. Now what you have to do is uh, go back to OAuth consent screen. So this is the part which is a little bit, uh, starts getting a little bit confusing. So go to OAuth consent screen and now you need to publish it. All right, so it was not part of the wizard flow, but you need to come here to the OAuth consent screen after you complete all the steps in the wizard and click on publish app. When you click on it, click on confirm. It says prepare for verification. Click on it. Now, these are uh, important steps. If you don't complete this, it will not work. So you need to go back to OAuth consent screen after you're done with all the steps in the wizard and click on publish app. And uh, after that, you can you have to click on verify and make sure to enter your app domain name and all the other details here. So step one is already filled out. But step two was not part of the wizard process, which is where it gets confusing because uh, they should have just added it there. Anyway, so you need to enter this here. What's your app domain? What's the domain where you have SQB installed, uh, where you want to do this integration? So I'm going to enter my site URL here. And uh, that's it. Everything else is already filled out from the previous uh, wizard-based steps. So these were the only three things that were missing. So now you can go to credentials to grab your credentials. So under OAuth 2.0 client IDs, you can see the app is here. And you can click on this edit icon here. Your credentials are right here. Client ID and secret. This is all you need. So copy this and enter this in the settings page. So I'm going to grab this, enter this here. And now I can click on this authenticate link to authenticate my Google account with SQB. Now when you click that, it will have you select the right Google account if you have multiple. So here it says Google has not verified this app. So click on advanced and even though it says unsafe, just click on it and make sure that you are giving it all the permission. When you allow this, SQB will be able to see, edit, create your Google Sheets spreadsheets, which is fine. Go ahead and continue. And that's it. Connection is complete. You can see it has now changed to disconnect. Click on save changes. If you want to test your connection. All right, so this step is complete, but now if you want to test the connection between SQB and your Google Sheet, you can click on test connection. It'll bring you to the next tab here. First, you need to create a blank sheet in Google Sheets. So go ahead and click on this link. Click on blank. And now you have a blank sheet. At the top, whatever is the sheet URL, right? So at the top, you can see this is the sheet URL. So grab this entire link for your blank sheet that you have here and enter this here. That's it. Click on test connection. And you can see it says success, sheet connected. 
and it says missing required fields. You need to add these three fields in your sheet for SQB to be able to add these fields in your sheet. And there are additional fields if you want uh, quiz, uh, quiz results and all that in your sheet. You need to add additional fields, uh, header fields in your sheet, but to start, but these are the required fields. Only these three are required fields. So let's go ahead and enter this. All right, so just three fields, first name, email, and quiz name. And you can add additional fields here, but all this information you will get when you integrate your quiz. Uh, and uh, I'll show you that, but just enter these three, all right? And I'll come back here and click on Test Connection. Now see, it says all done. Everything is working, right? Sheet is connected. That's it. So now the next step is to go to SQB and go to your quiz that you want to connect with the sheet. So let's go ahead and click on Manage Quizzes. So I already have this quiz here. I'm going to click on Edit. You can do this with an existing quiz or a new quiz. Click on Display Settings and go down here under Lead Generation, Connect with your platform. You can see there's a new option here. If you want to use Zapier or one of these platforms to integrate, you can do that too. But if you want direct integration, select this option. But to use this option, you need to first install and activate the Google Sheet plugin like I showed you earlier. And then in the settings page, go here, enter your uh, client ID and secret key and all that information here. And now you can, that's it. That's just one time you have to do that. And once you have authenticated and once you have connected your Google account with your with your domain where you have SQB, that's it. Then it becomes really easy. All you have to do is find your quiz and in the display settings, go to lead generation screen section, connect with your platform, select Google Sheet, click on this. Currently it says connected because I have already connected it, but you can click on it and enter the sheet URL, right? Where you want to add when users complete the quiz, where do you want to add? Which sheet do you want to add? So I'm going to add this new sheet URL right here. Copy this. And I'm going to enter that URL here, right? This is a sheet URL. So whatever sheet that you create uh, in the browser, you'll find the URL of that sheet. Just enter the full URL here. And click on, click to test connection. That's it. See, connection established. Here are the fields SQB will send to your sheet. So now you can add these additional fields in your sheet if you want SQB to add these additional fields. If you just want first name and email, that's fine. But if you want quiz type, quiz description, outcome details, tag details, question answer details selected by the user, by the quiz takers, then you can enter these additional fields as heading elements right here at the top, right? One time. Once you have done this, that's it. Go ahead and save it. And now it's connected, right? I'm going to go ahead and save this quiz. That's it, it's all done. All right, this is an existing quiz. I'm going to copy this short code, publish it on a WordPress page. And when I take the quiz, when I complete the quiz, SQB should automatically add the details to the connected sheet. So let's go ahead and test it. So I'm gonna publish my quiz here. Go ahead and update, it's just a test page. Now let's go ahead and test it in the front end. So you can see this is the quiz. I'm gonna click on take this quiz and just pick some random answers here. And I'm going to enter name and email. And this should be added to the sheet when users complete the quiz. Done. Now let's go ahead and check right here. All I did was I completed the quiz and you can see all the details are already here. Really simple direct integration between SQB and your Google Sheet. You will not need an external platform to do this anymore. All direct integration. Only thing is, as I mentioned before, the steps, you have to just uh, correctly follow the steps just like I showed you. And if you don't do that, then it will not work uh, and uh, it will result in confusion and it will just get complicated. So just make sure to watch my video. Maybe you have to watch it multiple times, the first few steps uh, to do the initial authentication. But once you have done it, then it becomes super simple. I'm going to walk you through the steps quickly one more time. All right. Just to make sure that you understand how this works and then... Uh, that's it. It becomes really easy to integrate. All right, so let's go back. All right, so let's go back to the documentation page. And again, you can get to the documentation from settings. So under settings, under SQB Google Sheet, at the top, you can see it says read the documentation. Click on it. It'll bring you to the documentation page where I'll also publish the video that you're watching now. I haven't completed the video yet, so I haven't published it, but it'll be here right here at the top. And here you can see the step one, visit this page, which will take you to the Google console. So here, give your project any name you want and uh, click on create. And then in the left sidebar under API and services, select library. 
here, click on Google Sheets. It will bring you here, select it. At the top, one thing I didn't do is I didn't select the project. I skipped that step. So make sure to select the right project first and then click on Enable. So at the top, make sure in the drop down you have selected the right project that you have created. I have multiple projects, so it didn't select the right one initially. All right. So the next step is to click on Create Credentials. So this is an important step to create the credentials. So click on Create Credentials. And now just select User Data here. And again, don't click on Done. Click on Next because there are five steps uh, in this process. And then give any name you want. Make sure to enter Developer Contact Information. Save and Continue. Now step number three, Scopes. Click on Add Scopes. And here under Filter, enter Google Sheets API. Select the first two, click on update. So you can see here it says Google Sheets API under scopes and we have selected these two. That's it. Save and continue. Again, do not click on done. Click on save and continue. There are more steps you need to complete. OAuth client ID here. Select web application. Give it any name you want. And the important step is authorized redirect URI. Not this one. This one you can skip. Just this one redirect URIs. Click on add URI. Grab the link from SQB. This is the link. Redirect URL. Enter it here under authorized redirect URI and click to create. Now you can click on the done button at the bottom. All the five steps are done. So this step is complete. So the next step is to go to OAuth consent screen and enter the domain name. All right. So here, first thing is to publish the app. Click on confirm, publish it. Click on prepare for verification. Very important step. And here under app domain, enter your domain URL. I'm going to enter the same one right here. And now you can click on save and continue. And now this is complete. All right. You can stop here. After you do the save and continue, you don't have to do anything here. You don't have to uh, enter. You don't have to do save and continue because if you do that here one more time, it'll ask you for additional details. You don't have to do it. All you have to do is publish the app prepare for verification and enter the domain name for privacy policy. That's it. And save. Once you have saved it, go to credentials and under OAuth 2.0, you'll find your app. Click on edit. And on the right side, you'll find the credentials. Copy and paste this in SQB settings page, copy client ID and secret and enter it here. And then you can authenticate with Google and save changes. And then you can create a blank sheet in Google Make sure you enter at least these three fields because these are required fields. First underscore name, email, and quiz name. In your sheet, grab the URL of the sheet from the, uh, from the browser, copy the URL, and enter it in the check connection. Enter that here and click to test connection to see if everything is set up correctly. And if yes, that's it. You're all set. Now you can go to your quiz settings. And under display settings, under Google Spreadsheet, click on this and you can now enter your sheet URL. All right. And then uh, go ahead and click to test connection. Save it. Now, when you complete the quiz in the front end, SQB should automatically add all the details to the Google Sheet. That's it. This is how the integration works. And as I said, initial setup might be a little bit complicated, but uh, if you watch this video a few times, it'll become clear to you how to do this. And then you can do a direct integration between SQB and Google Sheets. And the initial setup, once it's done, then connecting your quiz to your sheet is super simple. All you have to do is enter the URL here of the sheet that you want to integrate with your quiz. And that's all. Go ahead and save it. And that's all is needed. My name is Veena Prashant. I hope this was helpful. I'll be back soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.